One of the weirdest characteristics of Japanese is that it has a huge variety of personal pronouns. In English and most other languages, there is only one pronoun to refer to oneself. In this mini-series, we will look at different personal pronouns in Japanese. In today's episode, we will look at the first person singular pronouns. I will be describing the pronouns based on the following dimensions or parameters. Formality or politeness, gender, age, frequency, and context where applicable. Keep in mind that this list is not going to be exhaustive, and I will only cover pronouns that are particularly noteworthy. Also note that some first-person pronouns can be used as second-person pronouns, but this usage will be explored in the next episode of this miniseries. Number 1. Watashi This is without a doubt the most common and well-known first-person pronoun in Japanese. Watashi is a fairly formal and polite pronoun. It can be used by both genders. It is used more frequently by females. If used by males, it is often in formal context. It doesn't have any connotation regarding age, although you rarely hear young boys using this pronoun. When you're talking to someone you don't know well, you should use this pronoun regardless of your gender. Basically, if you're unsure about which pronoun to use in public, use this pronoun. Watakushi. Watashi is derived from and is a slightly more informal version of the pronoun Watakushi. We use the same kanji for both pronunciations. Watakushi is the most formal and polite pronoun, and it is gender neutral. It is used primarily by adult speakers, and you don't hear small kids using this pronoun. You don't want to use this pronoun in a conversation with your friends, but I would recommend using watakushi in formal situations, such as job interviews. Basically, if you're wearing formal clothes and you're talking to strangers, you should use this pronoun. But in most workplaces, you are allowed to use watashi instead of watakushi. So when you start a new job, start by saying watakushi and see what pronoun other people are using in conversations with their superiors and colleagues. And if they're using watashi, you can use watashi instead of watakushi. However, if you're talking to your client in formal business contexts, I recommend using watakushi to be more polite. Atashi is a derivative of watashi. It is quite informal and it is used almost exclusively by females. It can be used by females of any age. However, there is no particular reason for you to use this pronoun unless you strongly identify with this pronoun for some reason. Because of its informality, you shouldn't use this pronoun in public. Using atashi will in fact make you sound slightly uncultured. Atai is an even more informal derivative of watashi. It is rarely used nowadays, but you sometimes see some female fictional characters using it. Atai has a specific connotation, namely, you will sound very uncultured and unrefined. Number 2. Boku Boku is another famous pronoun. It is rather informal and it is used primarily by males of almost any age, although we tend to associate boku with younger males. It is more formal than the rest of the male pronouns. You don't want to use it in formal situations, such as job interviews. Although it is informal, it doesn't have a negative connotation, so feel free to use it in casual conversations. A side note, a small minority of women, especially younger women, prefer to use boku in informal situations. These women are often referred to as boku shoujo or boku ko. They are quite rare in real life, and you're more likely to encounter females that refer to themselves as boku in novels, manga, or anime. Female singers also may use boku in songs that are written from the perspective of a male person. Boku-chan or Bokuchin are the diminutive forms of boku, meaning they are the cuter versions of boku. You will not hear these pronouns in real life, but some fictional characters might use them, especially characters who are supposed to be small boys. A recent example would be this character in the Japanese dub of Despicable Me 3, who was voiced by the actor Matsuyama Kenichi. Number 3. Ore Ore is a very informal pronoun that is used predominantly by males of almost any age. It sounds far more masculine and crude than boku, so I wouldn't recommend using it in formal and public situations or when you're trying to be polite. The use of ore can also sound intimidating to some people, and some might even take offense at your use of ore, so only use it with people you know relatively well. Ore-sama is the combination of ore and the honorific sama. This is used almost exclusively in fiction, and you never hear real people use this. Oresama is often used by arrogant male characters who consider themselves superior to everyone around them. Avoid using this pronoun in real life context. 
Number four, 自分。自分 originally means oneself and is therefore a reflexive pronoun, but it is an increasingly common pronoun used mostly by males, usually past adolescents. It is not very common to hear small boys or women use this pronoun. It is considered relatively informal, so I wouldn't recommend using it in formal or public situations. Some people also may frown upon the use of 自分 as a first person pronoun. 自分 has a particular connotation, namely, it makes you sound masculine and somewhat athletic, since it is often associated with male athletes. Number five, washi. Washi is strongly associated with elderly men, and it is an informal pronoun. You are most likely aware of this pronoun because many old male fictional characters use this pronoun. In fiction, washi is often accompanied by the sentence ending particle ja, but this ending is more of an old man cliche and it is not actually used that often. In some regions, younger males and even women might use it, but this is extremely uncommon. Unless you consider yourself to be old and masculine, there is no reason for you to use this pronoun, so avoid using it in formal and public situations. Number six, ora, oida. Ora and oida are both extremely casual and they are very uncommon in real life, but you might hear them being used by fictional characters. A famous example is Son Goku from Dragon Ball, who famously refers to himself as ora. Another character, Nohara Shinnosuke from Koreyon Shinchan, also refers to himself as Oda. <laughs> so, Oda is usually used by young boys in fiction. These pronouns make you sound naive and uncultured. Do not use them in real life. Number seven, me. This is another pronoun that is not used in real life. The origin of this pronoun is obvious, namely the English pronoun me. Me is used in fiction by characters who are heavily influenced by foreign cultures and characters who are trying to be non Japanese. A classic example would be Iyami from the series Osomatsukun. Number 8. Some regional pronouns. There are a lot of pronouns that are used in specific regions of Japan. I will mention just a few examples. Uchi is an informal pronoun that is used in Western Japan, mainly by females of any age. Oidon or oi is a masculine pronoun that may be used in the Kyushu region. Wai or wate is mainly used in the Kansai region. This is very informal and is used almost exclusively by males. Number 9. Historical pronouns. Some pronouns are perceived by native speakers to be old fashioned and they are used mostly by fictional characters. Let's look at a few examples. Ware or wa. This is a pronoun that is used very rarely, but it has the same kanji as the Chinese first person pronoun. However, you might see it in the titles of some books or in very specific phrases, such as wagako, my child, so you should know what it means. Wagahai, this is similar to ore sama in that it sounds quite arrogant and masculine. It was famously used in the title of the novel, Wagahai wa neko de aru, or I am a cat, by the famous Japanese author Natsume Soseki, who was on the older 1000 yen note and who was also featured in my How to Make a Bank Account in Japanese videos. Snape, in the Japanese translation of the Harry Potter series, also uses this pronoun. The Japanese translation of Harry Potter, by the way, is infamous for the inappropriate word choices and numerous mistranslations, so you should have a look if you're curious. Sesha. Sesha is used exclusively in fiction, and it is associated with samurai and ninja. Number 10. No pronoun is used. In some specific situations, we sometimes do not use pronouns at all. For example, Small children and some adults, usually females, may use their own names instead of pronouns. For example, in the sentence, Takashi kun okashi hoshi, Takashi kun refers to the speaker who is a small boy named Takashi. Also, within a family, it is very common to refer to yourself using a familial noun, such as Otosan and Okasan. Which familial noun you should use is determined by your relation to the youngest member of the family. For example, if you are the grandfather of a small child, you will call yourself Ojichan. Another example is when teachers call themselves Sensei. I teach at a juku in real life, so I do in fact call myself Sensei when I am conversing with my students. This is the end of the video. As I said at the beginning, this is not an exhaustive list, and there are a lot more first person pronouns, especially regional pronouns. The next episode will cover the second person pronouns in Japanese. Let me know if you found this video interesting, and check out my other videos. See you next time.